So we are at Grand Lake for Redcrest. Man, this is something that I've been looking forward to since they put it on the schedule. I surely wanted to be here. Redcrest is the culmination of last year's tournaments on the Bass Pro Tour. So it's our championship, it's our Super Bowl, and it's hard just to qualify for it. Well, I feel really excited to be on a lake that I have such a high comfort level with. Got a lot of history here. You know, I've won two different elite events in the past. I fished two different Bassmaster Classics here that I didn't win. So I'm just looking forward to having a chance to win a championship event on this lake that, that I like so much. Coming up next, he needs no introduction. He owns eight Angler of the Year titles and over seven million in career earnings. Representing Strike King and Lose from Kalamazoo, Michigan, it's KVD Kevin Van Dam! You know, practice starts in the morning here on Grand Lake for Redcrest, and you know, I just want to get myself re-familiar with the lake. You know, the lake level's a little bit low, which really fits me well. You know, I, I love to crank, I like to jerk, I like to throw a spinnerbait. I don't have to worry about, you know, willow trees or bushes in the water. You know, you got boat docks and you got rocks here and that's what I'm gonna focus on. But you gotta get tuned in to exactly what stage the fish are in. You wanna see enough of the lake to see, you know, the different water clarities as, as you move around to different areas, you know, which creeks are dirtier, which are cleaner, just so you have all your options open as the conditions change later in the week and the weather changes so that I know I'm making the right moves. So that's my game plan. Get comfortable with Grand Lake again. Well, the biggest thing, you know, this morning here at Grand Lake is trying to re-familiarize myself with it. You know, I've fished here a lot before. And look at the water conditions, the temperature, and just try to get an idea of what the fish are homed in on. You know, the great thing for me, and, and potentially a problem, is that I do have a lot of history here, you know, and you get preconceived notions. And, and I can see already that, you know, the fish are, you know, going to be more in a winter pattern here, just the water temperature, you know, it's 48 degree water, uh, even though the air is warm. And I am learning a lot, though, for, for what I think going forward based on the conditions we got, how it's going to set up. Gonna tear it all down. This is a little Strike King Series 3. Early spring pre-spawn like this, you know, I like crawfish patterns, you know, the Delta Red or brown crawfish or this baby carp, I, I like this color for this little bit clearer water like this. You know, the last time we fished here, I won throwing a, a dark brown craw colored KVD 1.5. And when you look up at the bank and, and see the rocks, they're that dark brown. And so the crayfish basically are like a chameleon and they blend in with their surroundings. So they're the same color as the rocks. And if you got a bait that's on the bottom, you want it to look like what the forage is. And if their fish are up high in the water column, which a lot of times they are, then you're you know thinking about that jerk bait and your shad patterns. Catfish, <laughs> all that, all that for that. Uh, there was a couple local guys in a tournament, and I like, I got a bite, and you know, up on the shell flat, and I'm like, gosh, you know, I didn't want to show them. It ends up being a catfish. But the thing is, is there was a bunch of birds here, and uh, seagulls. So th this catfish is up there in four foot of water for a reason too. They're eating the same thing the bass is. So. You know, this is Redcrest. It's the Bass Pro Tour Championship. It's for all the marbles. I couldn't be more excited to be on a place that I have a lot of confidence to finally have a chance to win the one championship that I don't have. 
in my trophy case. Ah, look at the belly on that guy. There's a bunch of birds. There you can see that one's been eating a lot of shad all winter. That's the kind we're looking for right there. I've definitely onto something here. There was a catfish up there shallow. My live screen is just blacked out with these shad right here. So there's no doubt that the bass in this area are fully aware. And I have not seen shad like this anywhere we've been. We're only a few hours into practice so far. You know, I've gotten a few bites now, but I'm starting to see things that I like. I found a lot of shad. You know, every clue you get just gets you one step closer. So practice is so critical this week. Uh, you know, just to get myself reacclimated with the lake. I'm not trying to, you know, cover the whole thing, but I want to see all the areas. So, so far, so good. Grand Lake. Man, I've got a lot of history here. I've won two elite events here in the past, several chances at the Bassmaster Classic here, and just quite couldn't get it done. So here's my chance to maybe get a little redemption. My confidence level is to the moon right now. So just getting everything ready. You know, this lake sets up for my style. It, it's a pattern lake. It's very condition specific where they change from day to day. And we're going to have some of that this week. We're not going to have any extreme cold or extreme warm, but we are going to have some changing conditions. We've got a front coming through and we're going to have some rain at the beginning and then it's going to be sunny and start to warm up. So each day these fish are going to be a little bit different. You know, we're just coming off a of full moon. So these fish should be primed and ready to be starting to move up towards the bank and be in position where they're ready to eat. One of the keys at Grand Lake is figuring the, the zone the fish are focused on. You know, is it four foot, is it six foot, is it eight foot, is it 10 foot? Because they move up and down. You know, as warm as the air is right now, it, the water's still cold and it's still March. So, you know, the length of day is a critical factor. Um, you know, a lot of times we jump the gun and think, hey man, they're gonna be up there, it's warm. We're gonna be throwing spinner baits right up on the bank or buzz baits. And, and it could happen by the end of the week, but you know, I know that a crankbait is gonna be one of the major players here. The end goal is just to be there for the championship day. So I'm, I'm gonna put my best game plan together, work as hard as I can out there on the water and fish my strengths. And hopefully we're gonna have a shot at it because that's all you can ask is if you can put yourself in position for Sunday, anything can happen. You know, I've been fishing professionally for a really long time, you know, over 30 years. And, you know, I've been fortunate to win a lot of titles, lots of different types of tournaments, different formats, different leagues, championships, classics. You know, I haven't won a Red Crest yet. You know, you want to win everything that you compete in. And that's kind of my goal. You know, I don't do it for that reason, but there's no doubt that it's something that I would like to add to my resume. I mean, it's the Bass Pro Tour Championship. It's fishing against the best of the best. We're competing against the top guys from last season's tour, and there's no doubt that I really want to take that trophy home. And here we go. It is qualifying day number one for the 2022 Red Crest, presented by Costa. Hey, it's day one of Red Crest. We got, uh, you know, basically a 20 mile an hour northwest wind, 37 degrees and mist and rain. So perfect day for a bass tournament. You know, Grand Lake's a lake that, you know, these bass are used to the cold, so. We're just going to be mentally one of those days where you just got to keep that positive attitude all day long, keep grinding and make it happen. There's quality fish here, so you can get a handful of bites here. You can do really, really well. It's all about survival. You know, we've got 41 guys right now just trying to be in the top 20 after the first two days. The conditions are going to get better as the week goes on. So today's day one. Got to make it happen. Coming up next, he needs no introduction. Representing Strike King and Lose from Kalamazoo, Michigan, it's KVD Kevin Van Dam.
You know, winning a Bass Pro Tour event is a big deal. Winning Angler of the Year is a really big deal. But in the world's eyes, it's all about the championship. And the Red Crest Championship is a game changer. It's what all of us aspire to do that are out there on the Bass Pro Tour. You know, obviously, $300,000 goes a long way, so you know that's the first place purse. But more importantly, it's it's the trophy, it's in everything that goes with it, it's all the media, it's all the hype. It's a big, big deal. So to be able to win it would be really special and it, it'd mean a lot to me. But every one of these guys, I promise you, this is the world to them. These guys here are loading up the score drag and the big question is, who will end up on top at the end of the day? Man, what a grinder day, you know. I started off in the first period where, you know, I caught a few and just a lot of the areas that I wanted to fish just were not in good shape, you know, from the rain. I just never really figured anything exactly out. So I, I spent a lot of time looking, trying to make it happen and just kidding. So, you know, I'm not out of it by any means, but that'll be key for tomorrow is to make sure I go out there get off to a good start and keep it rolling you know you just can't slow down because the score tracker just come and eat you alive and that's what happened today so you know i kind of hovered around the cut line a, a good bit there at, at the end you know caught a couple and then just could not get another bite so it's tough with these conditions but it should get a little better each day so fingers crossed So it's day two here at Red Crest. You know, after the first day, I'm sitting in 21st. I'm one place out of the cut line, not where you want to be for sure. It was a tough day. A lot of changes with that big rain we had on the last day of practice. A lot of the areas that I wanted to fish were just blown out, too muddy. So, you know, I learned a lot, you know, only got a handful of bites. And each time, you know, I kind of got something going, I thought I could make it run and, uh, and just, you know, would fizzle out. So. Today, you know, got a better game plan. Main goal is, is catch enough to make it to the next round, you know, and I feel a lot better about it now because at least I got a feel for what the lake looked like and what areas are, you know, got quality water. Lake's still coming up. So, you know, each day the fishing should get better. Got to make it happen today. You know, I always say it's all about the attitude. Right now, I've, I mean, I've got a good night's sleep, been thinking about it, thinking about my game plan, ready to go. Today is the final day of qualifying for the 2022 Red Crest presented by Costa. At the end of the day, only the top 20 will go one step closer to becoming a Red Crest champion. You know, I've been fishing professionally for a long time, over 30 years, and what I love the most about it is the competition. I love the people, you know, the guys I compete against, I have so much respect for, but you know, I want to win. And really all we're doing is every single day out there, we're trying to be better than the rest of that 79 man field on the Bass Pro Tour. You know, when you come to Red Crest, it's a championship. You, you really want to be at your best. And uh, so, yeah, today is really frustrating. Experimented with everything that I thought I could do and never landed on it. So a lot of times, you know, you get close and you have the opportunities and you knew what to do. You figure it out just a little too late or whatever. You know, there's a lot of what ifs, but to be honest with you today, I never found out what I need to be doing. off to the guys that, that did well today. For the next uh, three days, I'll be at the expo, you know, working for my sponsors. Whoever wins here this week is really gonna earn it because conditions have been changing a lot. So we're just getting to the show here on Sunday morning. It's the last day of the expo here. Uh, just about, just opened actually. And um, here at the Strike King booth, you know, the booth is, we're kind of in this back corner here. You can see here a lot of the stuff going on on the other side, but 
The booth here is really set up for consumers to be able to see all the different baits. We've got the lose booth right on the opposite side, so just getting ready to start today. Gonna sign some autographs. I gotta do a little bit on the live stream today. So the really cool thing now that we're through COVID and all that is, you know, we're having a Redcrest Expo again where you really get to spend a lot of time with the fans, you know. Thank you. You're very welcome. I like that hat. Look here. <laughs> Boom. Big bass. <laughs> Thank you, Ben. You bet. Good luck, guys. Can I do a picture and put you on Kevin's social media? Here, come yeah. right here. Let's go right in front of this way. <laughs> now we're talking. That's right. You got attitude. Love it. Fish with your reel this morning. Your rod reel this morning, by the way. Appreciate it. Man. You like it? I do. Absolutely. I'm pretty partial to them. And look here too. Representing. Big time. I got two rods in the reel. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. <laughs> Yesterday was packed here at the show. It was great to see a lot of people out. This is an area that has a ton of bass fishing history. You know, it's one of the Tulsa, Oklahoma was one of the very first bass clubs. Kind of some of the great history of, of the sport. So there's a lot of fishing fans in this region here. It's great to be able to see them, a lot of them. I've been to Grand Lake a lot of times in the past. You know, I started fishing tournaments here in the 90s, and it's just great to see all the people. This is a week that I really wanted to do well, but overall, just a, a really great event. I had a great expo, and I'm just looking forward to the next tournament at this point. Lake of the Ozarks will be here before you know it. We'll be back on tour.